Ecofeminism, what is it exactly? And what does it mean to think in feminist ways about energy extraction and exploitation? This spring, I was invited to participate in a meeting convened by the Transnational Institute and the Alternative Information and Development Center based in Cape Town. There, I had a chance to sit down with two women with interestingly contrasting views on ecofeminism, Donna Andrews from South Africa and Kashmira Bani from Mauritius. For a very long time, I can speak about myself too, um, the focus was on, well, a north-south discussion about development. Um, it was very much about, well, I could have told you, 15 years ago, my argument would have been, how do we industrialize? How do we ensure work? How do we ensure, not necessarily economic growth in a neoliberal sense at all, but rather how do we facilitate, ensure that things are public and not private? Um, in a country like South Africa, we're talking about racial dispossession. So the demand for public goods are essential. Um, mm -hmm. I think over the last period, it's not that, um, the conversation has shifted per se, rather I think the ecological crisis has imposed itself on us. Yes. Um, and I think it's, it would be unfair to think that it's the environmental movement per se, because that's about the climate. But um, the ecofeminist movement have been talking about body and land and fish and sea and oceans for a very long time. And perhaps it's that that has re-articulated itself in, in new forms. Social reproduction is uh, about uh, regeneration of life. You know, people, women, doesn't have access to seed, doesn't have access to land. And, we c and when you cannot grow vegetable, when you cannot grow the basic needs, things for animals, for human beings to be alive, then you're destroying life. There, there is a need for that reproduction. Reproduction of agriculture, reproduction of life. Um, uh, it's not about conceiving children, etc. No, it's about uh, you know, um, capitalism has. Uh, in French, we call that acapo, grabbing of mm -hmm. uh, of land, mm -hmm. um, grabbing of land, grabbing of seed. They control what we eat. Monsanto control the world food. For me, this is, you know, uh, like uh, so regenerating life, so I think retaking control of life. I'm sorry. No, no, no apologies. I think that um, I think there's another dimension to it. So I think that, um, which is great, you reclaiming a notion of social reproduction in a regenerative way, mm -hmm. and I think that that's important. So, so there's almost like you've 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 gone s the step towards the alternative mm -hmm. so when i think of social reproduction it's not that it's not that but social reproduction is as opposed to production capitalist production right when i think about and speak about social reproduction i'm talking about the invisible work that women are doing and people are doing all the time to subsidize a capitalist system there is not one alternative there are many alternatives and people we you know people are are unique. We are very, we are different. We have different aspiration. And what's important is that we have, uh, we live, we live together. We meet our aspiration. We respect with nature. I mean, we admit that uh, the earth is has finite resources. Okay, and we cannot uh, cannot practice an extractive system. Um, people must be able to dream for it, to implement uh, a new social economic global order it has to be you know creative it has to be dynamic it has to respond to people's need and uh, in respect with nature with regards to its limitation etc etc and uh, this process is uh, it's uh, permanent it's permanent because the world is not uh, our life is not static, it's dynamic and uh, there are new challenges coming, there are new contradictions coming. So being able to sit together, to you know, uh, work together in a par participatory democratic way is a good start. So I'm going to talk about for and against and I guess that's my politics historically. I'm, 
um, in transition. Um, but I definitely think this this false dichotomy between economy and 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 and, and politics, between mental and 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 apps, you know, the, all these divisions that we have, the 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 the, the binaries that we have. Um, I think that you know your question is about the new way, etc. It's to dismantle um, the master's house. Um, is is I think going to be fundamental, and I think it's really co it's I don't think it's easy. I think for myself, I mean, we we I think it's it's really challenging. But I think that if anything, when when you when you, you when you use the words of capitalism and patriarchy, the thing that is really really important for me to I don't know bring home or reinforce is is it's it's this uh, it's the subordination of everything below the economy so the epicenter yeah. the epicenter is the logic of efficiency it's all the time that uh, it's not only yeah. the discourse mm -hmm. it, we, sp we speak about our material world so discourse sometimes it sounds like a story but it's not just a story it's really at the heart of it is why is it so um, central for us to put our exchanges in the world our love our care our food everything through a market a market which is based on the notion of the economy which is in fact the epicenter of our crisis so I I think that you know a part of the alternative has to be to to, to sh I mean I say shrink the economy shrink its power shrink its weight shrink its shrink its dominance over mm. our our, our household etc if we're talking about economy in a different way which is sharing bartering uh, caring etc then i think that that's 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 sort of fundamental i think uh, what you're doing here um we are complementing each other